Also breaking tonight, over a thousand people are unaccounted for. Think about that. Over a thousand people unaccounted for in Northern California after a fast moving wildfire demolished the small town of Paradise and hundreds of other acres. Our correspondent Claudia Cowan is live right now in Chico as the death toll continues to climb. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening to you, Ed. As President Trump gets ready to come here tomorrow to meet with first responders, no doubt he is wondering what everyone here is wondering, how many more victims will be found. Eight more sets of human remains were recovered today, bringing the death toll from the campfire to 71. Of the deceased, 58 have been tentatively identified. 9,700 homes have been destroyed. Total number of structures wiped out, 12,263. And tonight, more than 1,000 people are unaccounted for, up by almost 400 since yesterday. But the sheriff says those numbers are fluctuating. He says the same person could be listed more than once and that it's taking time for officials to verify exactly who is missing. But more than a week later, search teams combing through the ashes say they are finding victims almost every hour. Experts say some bodies are so badly burned they may never be identified even with DNA analysis. President Trump says it's hard to fathom the soaring death toll. It's incredible what's going on and burned beyond recognition. They can't even see the bodies. It's incredible. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. The fire itself has burned 146,000 acres in steep, rugged terrain. All the smoke has created very unhealthy air conditions all around Northern California. By one account, the air in San Francisco is the worst in the world. But the fire is now 50 percent contained, and some of the evacuation orders are being lifted. Still, thousands remain evacuated, including hundreds now living at an encampment at the Chico Walmart. All week, they've been getting donated food and clothes, immediate help. But volunteer organizers are starting to phase it out so that people relocate to real shelters. And time is of the essence because rain is in the forecast next week, perhaps good for that firefight, but certainly adding to the challenges for those search crews looking for more remains and certainly adding to the hardship for all of these evacuees here, Ed, if they haven't found a better option. All right. And as you know, President Trump will be on the ground tomorrow. Claudia Cowan, we appreciate your report.